WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we begin our day with a mixed bag. The mix is coming from the Dow, which is trading up about 65 points. The other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. You got the S&P down a little over 1%, or 67 points, 2 and 3 quarters percent. For the NASDAQ 100, 477 points there. The Russell's off 15, 7 tenths percent, nearly 4% for the semis. They're down 227 points. Trendy's off 190. That's a little over 1% as well. You've got gold that is trading uh, flat at 24.67. Silver's down 89 cents, nearly a 3% move there. Uh, Lights recruit is up a buck 65, 2%. Natural gas off 11 pennies, 5% move into 30 year treasury, basically kind of flat. It's off nine ticks, print out at 120, even Steven. Let's try to figure out what that means by looking at the nine panel market update chart. Upper left hand side, we've got the ES mini. ES mini has a TD9 count top. Uh, completed that pattern yesterday or the day before. I can't remember now off the top of my head. Either way, that's what's in place out here. Price is now pulling back inside its profile. So the first level of support was at the 56.67 area. The second level is going to be 55.26, and the third level will be 55.84. Spot volatility is above its 50-day exponential moving average, so that gives the uh, sellers uh, a bit of an edge out there. The NQ, which has got all kinds of tops, TD9 count, Rhodes momentum indicator, sell the D point, is now trading below profile support at 2280. Uh, where's that going to head to next if this area fails to hold the support? Great question. I'll tell you what, tune in to the uh, Trader's Edge show. We'll cover that for you. I gave you its TD9 count breakout level. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, if it does close below 103.69, it'll negate its TD9 count bottom and suggest that we head lower. Of course, um, well, in the uh, don't know if I can give you that to break out level. I'll have to look up in the newsletter, and I'll do that for you. If we take a look at gold, gold is testing the uh, swing point from the trading session of uh, May the 20th. That high out there is 2477. If price were to close above that today, it would actually trigger a pretty large A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. In the case of silver trading between trend line support and trend line resistance, in the case of lights we crude consolidating with inside its daily profile, that's anywhere between 8061 and 8409. Natural gas trading lower. You've got a new profile that is attempting to form above price. That's a bearish message out there. Looks like natural gas is going to get even cheaper. And finally, the 30-year treasury, nothing more than a consolidation. It's trading inside its sell zone. The sell zone is between 119.07 and 120.20. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.